I brought something back from Thailand with me. I'm not even sure I deserve it, but it meant a lot to me. It's special. It stole my heart, and so I needed to bring it. We got a bum hose, my friend, and we install it today with zero plumbing experience. What could possibly go wrong? All I know for sure is that this is going to be one of the easier things I've ever done in my life with zero possibility for failure. It's just going to go so smoothly I can feel it in my heart chakra right in there. It's like, yeah, no leaks, just smooth sailing. So basically, I've read the instructions. First, if you want to follow along with me at home, feel free. Links are down below for the, the sprayer, bum sprayer thing. Once you use this, you never go back to toilet paper. You're dead to me, toilet paper. Oh, you don't see it. Is this good content? Let's move on. First step, you turn off the valve. Turn off the water. Make sure that's tight. That's what he said. Take your mom's favorite towel. It's very dirty. Why is this so dirty? <laughs> Place underneath to catch any... We all know there ain't gonna be no leaks here, but just as a backup, like we need it. Now you flush the toilet to get rid of the water. Now apparently we got a flexi hose up to the toilet tank and you can just hand crank it to release. You can just hand crank. I don't know what direction it goes. Is it lefty loosey? It's upside down. What? This way then? Oh, you nailed me, gravity. You nailed me. Oh, that's a lot of water coming out. That's a lot of water. Oh, that's a nightmare. Oh, it's slowly coming out. Oh, help. Someone help. Oh, the, the off valve's a lie. Now the idea here, attach this to the toilet instead, attach that pipe thing that's leaking right now to this, and then this hose will spray your bum, and there's an off and on bell for safety purposes. That's leaking hard. That is leaking hard. Okay. So this goes on the toilet thing that you can't see. Why did they design it to be like this? Hand tighten it. Not too tight. You don't want to be an asshole about it. Oh, I felt like that was too tight. I broke it. Okay. Now the toilet thing goes on the other thing. There is leakage here. There's definitely leakage. There's no stopping it. The water's not even on and it's leaking. That can't hold well for the future. When I turn the water on, we're just going to go for it and attempt to turn the water back on. And that, oh, that's bringing a lot of leakage. Oh, the leaking has increased quite a bit, 30 fold. All right, no need to panic, I prepared for this. I knew this was gonna happen. I bought an extra flexi tube just in case. This piece of shit, this piece, this particular flexi tube was built in Taiwan by a family of rebels and they didn't know what they were doing. So we just remove it. There will be no leakage here. Not on my watch. All right, I do believe that was the culprit, a faulty wire built by rebels in the night. I see the leaks happening, so we put the new one on. Just remaining calm here as the water destroys our foundation. It's not going on. It's the wrong size. So if you line it up just right, it should work. Why'd I put the wrench way over there? It serves no use over there. It's a faulty design. The good news is that, oh, no, there it is. Okay. So we got control of the leak now with the extra valve. We're getting places. Now we can put this piece back on uninhibited with new hardware. We should be good to go here. The new hose's flexibility is that of an arthritic zebra, and it doesn't bend the way I want it to. I should have worked it in more. We 
gotta get into a Thai squat here. I have no leverage. There's no leverage to turn it. Why are these things designed so close together? You can't move anything. There's no, I don't have a lot of strength with this movement here. I need a big handle, something like a lever double handle thing. How come there's not that on this? All right, we're gonna test it with the water on again. Oh God. Oh, that's much worse. That is much worse than it was before. I'm exhausted mentally. They say to only hand tighten it, but I think that's just a warning for losers. I can only tighten it in one ninetieth of an inch increments. I'm gonna be here for 30 minutes. Just keep your cool. Is that even open? Oh god, it wasn't open. God damn it. I feel like we're leaking in more places than one. The whole thing is flawed. It's still leaking. I'm exhausted in my lower back. And my mind isn't as sharp as it was. And I'm losing motivation. Quickly. Oh, hello. Hello to you. Mr. No Leaking. I did it. I did something. I built something. Does this? What's the deal with this now? Is that on? You know what I never thought of? This is gonna be ice cold. It's Canadian waters. Is it? Oh, that's colder than the ice walls of the flat earth that keep our world from disintegrating into space. Still, we have a bum hose now. That's a powerful one. Wow. <laughs> that is fantastic. You're supposed to turn this valve off every time you use it. Good luck with that. It's definitely dripping. I think I need another quarter, two inch piece twist. We did it, my friend. I can't guarantee that it's not gonna leak, but let me just show you what I was using before. Because once you use these things, you can't go back. I'll leave a link for this thing down below. It gets the job done, kind of. It's just, it's not quite like having the power backing of the foundation of your house spraying at your ass. This you just fill with like warm water, that will be a nice, that's gonna be shocking, the freezing cold water. You fill it up, screw that on, and it'll give you enough. You stick that down there, and you just squeeze that. <laughs> but you basically just slowly squeeze it, and it does the job done. Maybe not for a carnivore poo. Maybe a vegan poo, that'd be, could handle a vegan, this is the vegan version of that. You need the power blaster, the pressure cooker one. That's not it, pressure washer. I got it, eventually. I almost forgot, I'll leave another link. There's a battery powered one, I bought that one too. So just in case, it just, it wasn't powerful enough for me. But it was much easier than the squeezy one. But this is the ultimate solution. They also have, I'll leave another link. There's one that attaches to your toilet seat and then like a thing comes out like an alien underneath you and then sprays up and you can control the temperature it's like a rocket seat booster for your toilet so i just i like the hose they're everywhere in thailand but they don't do it here in canada but it can be done if you're handy like i am apparently i can't guarantee that thing ain't gonna blow up my full fridge fridge so we're done thank you for watching the video today Consider giving it a thumbs up if you liked it.
Thumbs down. If you wipe your bum with a sandwich and you flush it, it's expensive. This is the more cost of friendly way. So don't do it. I'm gonna leave. This was fun. Phenomenal content here always. Thanks for watching it. Subscribe for what the hell was that? Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.